Okay, guys, I'm going to try and make this video really quick. This is um, all the information that I have gathered from the internet, people I've talked to and everything about the Magpul PTS ACR. This is not the ANK or the GNP. This is the Magpul Ace, Magpul, the, the Magpul PTS ACR. Um, uh, the expected MSRP is supposed to be around $450 do US dollars. Um, that is for the baseline version. That's basically 14 and a half inch barrel, um, basic polymer handguard, no rail systems or anything. Uh, the M4 lower and the fixed stock. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the, the optional upgrades for this are the, there is the, uh, the I, the uh, R I S uh, rail version. I don't really know how this works. I'd rather have the IRS just attached to the handguard. That's just me. Um, but there is the yeah, obviously the M4 lower, the 762 lower. That's basically an AK lower, which can be quickly swapped out. But the bad thing about the AK lower is it can only use the Magpul PTS prototype mags, which are basically just 120 round AK mid caps, which big drawback for me but when you if you do buy the 762 lower you get three mags for free along with it okay now another optional upgrade supposedly there's an 18 inch barrel uh haven't found much information on that a little shaky on that but it's they say that's going to be coming out soon after it's released or it will be coming out when it's released um uh then there is the 11 and a half inch or 10 and a half inch ver barrel let me 11 and a half inch sorry my bad 11 and a half inch barrel um for cqb what they want to do with it um there is the fixed stock and the folding stock um uh guessing on the cost of the folding stock because of its complex complexity is going to be around hundred dollars yeah that kind of pisses me off um the gearbox is going to be a modified version three don't know what that means, but it does have a uh, quick spring uh, change thing where you just you unscrew it with an Allen key and you pop in your new spring and voila, got 400 some FPS from the original 350 FPS. Now the gun is going to be shipped out with stock 350 FPS, but depending on what country you are, they say it's going your FPS on the stock gun is going to depend on which country you live in. Um, so yeah, no, nothing other, no more information on the internals. Really, there's an nothing about what motor it's gonna be using, uh, what the rate of fire is or anything like that. I don't know. Look back on the other Magpul PTS M4s for that information. Um, so those are basically what the optional upgrades are. Fully decked out with everything you can buy for this it's going to be around seven hundred dollars that's a lot of fucking dough um it's gonna be coming in three different colors uh black flat dark earth and foliage green your choice um the upper receiver is going to be made out of a six zero six one aluminum billet which is going to be cnc machined so it is a very high quality. It's probably going to be the best quality body of any fucking airsoft gun in the fucking world. Because it's fucking Magpul. Yeah. Um, and also, the rest of every other part on the gun that is a polymer is going to be fucking... I'm sorry, I swear a lot, but that's just how I am when I'm explaining shit. But yeah. Uh, the polymer is going to be a high-grade polymer. The highest best polymer you can get is from DuPont. Um, the prices may still change because of DuPont because they're trying to figure out what they're what they're going to actually uh, charge Magpul for their polymer parts. So yeah, but it's going to be rock hard and very lightweight though. So expect great shit from that. But pictures I've seen so far, it kind of seems a little iffy, the polymer, the color. It's like the black. Eh. I saw like a typo error actually on the, the pictures from SHOT Show. It was like Mag L Industries 
I how to it was a freaking weird ass picture. Uh, but yeah. Um, moving on to another website. Um, the. Uh, basically, uh, let's see. Uh, the magazine magazine compatibility. Um, compatible with all standard five five six AG. Mags. TM spec like most EG M16 mags are, and obviously Magpul PTS mags. That's I'm just reading that off the website. Um, the it's gonna be wired to the front. Um, uh, well, from the video I saw, they say you can actually use a lipo battery with it. I don't know. I really don't know. Um. It has 14 millimeter counterclockwise threads. I think I have. I actually have the Mag for PTS on my desktop. It's fucking ill ass picture. It's a tan one. It has a silencer on it. It looks just ill. Um, uh, and also, yes, there is going to be. I'm sorry, I forgot this, but there is going to be a gas blow back gear box, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, for all you people that want that, there are, there is going to be that. So, yeah. Have fun with the gas blowback gun, I guess. Um, the only uh, thing I think I went over everything. I think I did. Uh, multi blah blah blah, blah more blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah. more ball blah, blah 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 blah. Uh, I think that's basically it. I think I just I actually did this video twice. Cause it was just way the first one I had to cut it really because I put on like ten minutes but yeah um yeah um still no release date yet it was supposed to come out in March I may have typed with this early in the video I just fucking forget but yeah uh supposed to come out this March but it has not it's April now um they say. Definitely supposed to be by here by Christmas to all the retailers. Uh, <laughs> that is the fact. I am for once in my life going to ask my parents to buy me this because I want this shit fully decked out. That'd be fucking ill. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see else. Um, so expect it by the end of this year, at least by the end of this year. By the end of this year, I mean the next eight or so months, or I lose count. Uh, I think that's really all it. Um, I really, I'm, I'm just really interested on how the IR. Man, why do I keep on saying IRS? The RIS. R I S. Um, system works. <laughs> Because I'm watching this, uh, the video from uh, Airsoft Northeast, or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, I'll play it here in the background and shit. Um, it's showing the, a the AK version the, with the 762 lower. And has the folding stock. And has the I. They had the wrist on it. The RIS system. And to me, it looks like it's a completely different handguard. Um, what I would like on my Magpul PTS is I would just like a, um, just how you know how you can buy, uh, IRS, yeah, RIS, uh, plates and put them on the lower part of your M4 handguard or on top. I would actually rather have that because I know there are in the pictures there are holes so if they maybe you can do that I would rather have that because I would like to have because that's just me don't call me noob for doing this but I am going to be getting an M203 grenade launcher and I would that would be fucking awesome if I could have my M203 on this shit that would be fucking amazing uh, but yeah it's coming on 10 minutes now I really hope this was very informative for all you lazy people out there that can't find this information out yourself. Uh, so, yeah.